Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well, and welcome on this midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I decided to do this idea that we will publish every Wednesday a midweekly analysis on the market. This is gonna be very helpful. We will follow up the trades or the signals that I have posted earlier on my weekly analysis on last Saturday. So if anything went against our prediction or something going in the, in the prediction, let's follow it up together and see how we can together make some good trades and make profit from this market. Uh, first of all, I just <laughs> want to say something. Uh, it's really annoying for me a lot to see these comments still saying these live trades video I'm doing are based on DMO account. Guys, this is all on real account. This is a live account you are seeing, not demo account. Uh, I'm just hiding the number and the details because the support has told me that it's really risky to my account to show it on public on YouTube. Uh, it might affect uh, my account to be hacked or something or some data to be steal. Uh, let me just uh, look at the top to the left, please. I'm hiding where the number will be shown. I have really poor skills in editing videos, sorry. I will drag now the chart a little bit. Yes, just like that. Okay. So you can see, my friends, I am on live account, uh, live number 12, live server number 12. This is my live account. I'm entering here one trade, selling the pound CAD. So please, my friends, uh, this is the last time I'm showing this. All these live trading videos you are seeing are based on live account, not on demo account. The only thing you will see on demo account is the videos with, uh, sorry, the educational videos where I'm explaining about stop loss or any other thing. But the live trades video, are all on live account so please don't bother <laughs> us again saying it's demo it's really annoying for me and i just don't like it at all because the honesty is actually what has brought me to this level that i am being honest with everyone and i want to keep it uh, this way so let's now track the trades um let's start with the euro usd so euro usd as i mentioned in the last week uh, it's going down actually. We can see that I have mentioned that this level will be. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mentioned that this level will be really good to start selling the Euro USD. It should keep rising all the way up to hit this resistance level because on daily candles we can see that this level here has created a resistance number one. This level created a resistance number two. And not to mention that the very same level was also very strong resistance not only here but also right here this tiny small week remember it's on daily candles meaning it's really strong as a resistance so the euro usd now is going very well let's go to the smaller time frame so let's see euro usd is right now actually it's on a support level so we can expect for the euro usd to make a small bounce actually it might actually make a, a third attempt on the resistance here because here we have resistance one two so we can expect a third attempt before it actually gonna fall more down so if you are selling the euro usd i suggest to keep the trade uh, don't close it it might actually make small bounce and go down however the general direction for the euro usd um, is heading down and i can see the price action is really strong there is not a single price action indicating a bullish uh, strength or reversal so I would like to adjust the EURUSD signal to actually make it all the way to this level here. Keep your trade running only until this level. Now, uh, sorry, until the level 1.10324. There is a reason for me asking this. Because this level of the support here, it is really, let me just mark it. It is really strong as a support, this level. This level is strong as a support right here and here. And here as well so we can expect for the euro USD to actually make a strong bounce once the candle reach this level so it's really better idea to close your trade uh, on the level 1.10161 just exit your trade and hopefully it will be in good profit because the market might reverse and we need to see the price action to decide what are going to do later after this reversal let's take a look at the pound USD pound USD as I predicted also perfect the, re the reversal happened indeed on the same level I mentioned on the last video, 1.29711. So the euro USD, uh, sorry, the pound USD is actually reversing. If you are planning to sell the pound USD, um, you can actually start doing it immediately. Uh, 
pound USD is on a resistance level by all means because right now we can see here that we are here having resistance level and here as well and right here so all in all uh, pound USD is still on a resistance if I draw a trend line here let me try to draw a trend line like that like that so we can see that still we are on a good uh, level to start selling the pound USD so yeah very good pound USD is still going very nice and I can expect for the pound USD to keep going all the way down to this support level and after that we can see what will gonna happen we can still aim more uh, than 100 pips from the trade if even if we entered immediately so still good to trade and you can see the candle is moving down very good let's check AUD USD AUD USD as well has reversed exactly from the point I have mentioned so let's see what's gonna happen next uh, we are having right right now here a support level so AUD USD actually let me check now the daily candles uh, there is a chance for the AUD USD, AUD USD sorry it will reverse right on this level of the support um, we can see right now we have a double bottom so most likely AUD USD actually heading up because this price action we can see that there was a lot of rejection in breaking this uh, level of the support therefore we need to see this candle closes uh, we have to wait any price action uh, by that I mean if this candle today is not gonna close as a full bearish breakout candle then it's gonna be a good idea to start buying AUD USD if it closes however like a pin bar for example this very same candle if it if it will close today like that like a, like a pin bar then I think it's a good idea to start buying the AUD USD because uh, we are right now on a very strong support level which was a resistance as well so it might be a good idea to start uh, longing the AUD USD I closed the trade also by the way I just paused the video to check the trade and I closed it with a good profit however USD JPY USD JPY has also reversed exactly on the, on the level I have mentioned on daily candle we can see it started from there to reverse and heading more down I still believe uh, USD GPY is still going more down actually uh, let me just uh, take a look at the chart so we had a reversal right here and yes I think the uh, USD GPY should continue its bearish momentum it will continue falling down until it hit the support level then we need to see any price action uh, indicating uh, if it's gonna reverse or not however it's good idea to keep your trade running uh, for the USD GPY if you are selling it keep it for now don't uh, close it yet let's check the USD CAD USD CAD is right now heading up uh, I I think my signal was for buy for the USD CAD on this level however it just went up immediately without visiting this level and uh, make a second attempt of the support so what's next what next is we have right here a resistance level and I believe yes USD CAD is already reversing so uh, let me just change the signal for the USD CAD right now so I believe let me just check in the past if it was a strong support level um, yes let me go to the 4 hour chart uh, just a second my friends I just want to be sure yes perfect 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 I just want to make it a little bit down actually it was perfect it was perfect yeah like this one so I believe now USD CAD is reversing right on the top of this resistance so we can see this resistance after this bearish momentum it's gonna keep its position as a resistance so we can expect for the USD CAD to fall down to this previous support uh, sorry previous, previous resistance which was also a strong support in the past not only here of course if you notice me looking here right here and here and also it was a strong resistance so this level is very strong I believe if we did some uh, trend line yes perfect so it is confirming that the USD CAD look at that the candle already reversing so again we will have the reversal for the USD CAD then after that on the level 1.32560 it's gonna be good to start buying the level very good for the USD CAD I think it's reversing uh, I believe it's really good to start selling the USD CAD at the moment 
it is on a good level for selling and keep the trade running for almost uh, 40 pips before I close it and replace it with a buy order let's look at the USDCHF USDCHF however is breaking out from the level where I mentioned it it's gonna uh, reverse so let's track it and see what's gonna happen I think we need to increase the line a little bit more up uh, let's go to the daily candles I'm trying my best my uh, guys to make this video short and quickly um, <coughs> sorry sorry all right let's continue um, I need to draw some trend line actually like that and like that okay for the USDCHF we can expect for the USDCHF to actually rise a little bit more up all the way until it hit this resistance level then on this resistance let me just write it for you to make it clear USDCHF good to start sell on the level 0 0.99346 that should be better idea to start selling the USDCHF uh, the reason is we are having right now a very strong bullish momentum I don't think there is any reason for the candles to reverse at the moment there is no strong resistance in the past year however the strongest resistance is actually right here it was also right here and it was right here right here right here and right here so again USDCHF should be good to start selling on the level 0 0.99346 hopefully it will reach by today I think I think by today maximum tomorrow morning it should reach this level and we can get out with a good profit last but not least the gold so the gold I think I need to adjust my signal I will just make it right here on this previous support level right here oh it's already reached oh okay we can start selling the gold immediately I think uh, we just missed it by <laughs> 30 pips that's a lot however uh, gold actually uh, reached this previous support level right here and right here as well so it was better idea to start selling the gold right on this level uh, remember the gold is also right now is on a support level so we still have a chance that the market actually might make a small bounce hitting the very same level of the previous support before actually start heading more down so if we are lucky enough we can expect for the gold to make another final one final uh, second attempt on this uh, level of 1479 let me just write it for you sorry sell on 1479 that actually should be better level to start selling the gold hopefully uh, if the market will make one final attempt to reach this level and then uh, we can sell the gold uh, keep your trade running until it, it hit the level 1448 we are talking about approximately 300 pips hopefully we will get them all so again I really wish this will be very profitable and good week for everyone and uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.